Hey everyone, I'm Tila with Deep English, and I'm super excited for another lesson together today. Today we'll be learning about the words could, would, and should, and how to correctly use them in English. I remember when I was learning Spanish, I was so confused by the equivalent of these words in Spanish that I was afraid to use them. So I ended up sounding like a cave woman, and I don't want that for you. That's why today's lesson is so important and why I'm so excited to share with you how to use could, would, and should correctly. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we'll learn today is just the basic meanings of could, would, and should and how they can be used to talk about the future. Let's start with the word could. So the word could is used to talk about possibility. So exciting. So we might use the word could in a sentence like, you could be a doctor, or you could be a lawyer, or you could be an artist. So the word could, it's full of possibility. Okay, let's move on to the word would. The word would is used to imagine how the future might be. So for example, we might say, you would be an excellent doctor, or you would be a terrible lawyer, or you would be an incredible artist. So the word would is used to focus on what we see in our imagination. Okay, so now let's move on to the word should. So the word should is often used to give advice or to talk about the correct way to do something. So for example, we could say, you should be a doctor, or you should be a lawyer, or you should be an artist. We could also use the word should in a sentence like, you should follow your dreams, or you should choose a job that makes you really happy, or you should be the change you wanna see in the world. So the word should is used to give advice or talk about the correct way to do things. Okay, so let's go over that one more time. So the word could is used to talk about possibility. So we might say something like, you could follow your dreams. You could follow your dreams. The word would is used to talk about the way that we imagine things to be in the future. So you would be an incredible artist if you practiced more. You would be an incredible artist if you practiced more. And the word should is used to give advice or to talk about the correct way to do things. So for example, you should try to live in the moment. You should try to live in the moment. So now we know how to use the words could, would, and should. So let's take this a little further. Let's talk about how to use could have, would have, and should have. These are all ways to talk about the past. So let's start with could have. So could have is a way to talk about past possibilities. So we might use could have in a sentence like, I could have traveled the world, but I decided to study instead, or I could have become famous if I would have practiced more. So sometimes when you use the word could have, you're also talking about a regret, like, oh, I could have become famous. But not always. You can also use could have in a sentence like, I could have become a lawyer, but I decided to become a yoga teacher instead. So could have is used to just talk about past possibilities. So what you could have done in the past. All right, so now let's talk about would have. So would have is a way to imagine the past. So it's kind of using our imagination to look into the past. So we might use the word would have in a sentence like, I would have invited you to the party if I knew that you were in town, or if I would have known that you were ill, I would have been there for you, or I would have read that book if I'd had it at the house. 
So would have, this is a way of imagining the past, what you would have done. Okay, so now let's move on to should have. Should have is a way of giving advice in the past or talking about the correct way to do things in the past. So for example, I could say something like, I should have gone to bed earlier or I shouldn't have stayed up so late or I should have practiced more before the concert. So should have is talking about the correct way to do things in the past. So let's talk a little bit more about should have or even the word should. So you probably have a friend that is constantly talking about what they should have done or what you should have done or what you should do. That person is probably not a very happy person. And that's because a lot of times when people constantly say should have done this, they're judging the present moment and they're wishing things were different. I personally prefer to have no regrets. I prefer to live in the moment and to accept things as they are. And so that's why I think it's important for us to use the words should and should have very intentionally so that we're not constantly judging other people and thinking you should do this differently or judging ourselves and thinking you should know more English words. So. I also want to tell you a little bit about a new saying that we have in English. It's relatively new and it goes like this. Don't should all over yourself. Or you can also say don't should all over me. And so essentially this is a play on the words don't shit all over yourself or don't shit all over me. It basically means don't judge yourself or don't judge me. So don't should all over me or don't should all over yourself. Just means stop judging me and just accept me for who I am or accept yourself for who you are. Okay, so that's that's my little soapbox speech about should and should have and why I prefer to use them very intentionally. Okay, so that does it for today's lesson on could, would, and should and could have, would have, and should have. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson as much as I enjoyed teaching it. I am so looking forward to our next lesson together. Please feel free to comment below and use these words could, would, or should in a sentence. And if you could, it would also be really nice if you would subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos right when they come out or click below and get some free English courses. Thank you guys so much. I'm looking forward to our next lesson together.